St. Luke, we have some exciting news here as we are starting to implement our online giving and member portal. In this video, we're going to be focusing directly on the online giving and how to set that up. Before we begin, a little bit about what is happening. St. Luke has teamed up with an organization called Faith Life, which has all kinds of different software components, and we're going to be working with them on setting up online giving and member portals. So our online giving um, is a way we can give to the church uh, like we do now electronically. We're just switching platforms for various reasons. Um, and it gives us a couple of different opportunities. We can now give to different congregational funds as we build those out. Um, you can actually be able to see your online contributions whenever you log in. Um, and also you can have the option to cover processing fees. Right now we can't do that. Uh, so the church uh, uh, has to take those costs. Um, you can elect if you would like to take those or not take, or take those on. Also, we'll be implementing an online member portal. So people can actually log in. You'll be able to see a online member directory with pictures. Um, if you'd like to put a picture on, uh, you can sign up for different events. We're going to be running communications out of here. And there's a lot more uh, as well, including a calendar and a way to communicate with different groups and things of that nature. But for this, we're going to be focusing just on the giving part of it. So throughout the month of August, we're just going to be setting up online giving. Um, while we will be doing this through the portal, we're not actually going to be implementing the member portal yet. So you won't have anything to log into, um, but you will be able to start giving. Basically, there's a lot of setup that needs to occur in the back end, and we're still working through this, but we want to get this rolling here in August. Come September, we'll start to... Uh, implement a way to actually log in. This is going to be for all members, whether you are giving through this platform or not, you can to log in. Um, and again, you'll be able to see an online member directory and all different kinds of things that we're going to be capable for as well. And then in the future, uh, post-September or even maybe towards the end of September, we're going to start to switch things from a communication standpoint over to this platform. That doesn't really mean anything for you, basically just on the back end, how we initiate those communications. They're still all going to go out the same way. You'll still receive them in the same way you do now on ways to uh, sign up for events, things of that nature. But for today, when it comes to the reoccurring gifts uh, that you are giving to the church, um, you should have gotten this link to this video from the office. So Michelle in the office or one of the other staff will reach out to you with this link to be able to set this up. Um, all you're going to need is an email address and your credit card or bank info. Um, I recommend for your email please use an email address that you will be using to log into the member portal in the future, right? So uh, if you have a single email address, uh, use that. If you have multiple, use the ones that you will want to have as your login to the portal in the future. Again, if that sounds confusing, or if you just have one email address, don't worry about it. Just use that one email address. Um, once this is initiated as well, we can also use this for one-time giving. So if we have guests come in, uh, you'll see some things come up here in the next month over church where we'll be able to scan different barcodes and things like that uh, and, and give right from their phone. Um, they can also still give all the same ways that they're currently doing, give via text message and all of that as well, and setting up recurring gifts. So let's get into it here. Scroll out of here. So when you first log in, I'm sorry, when you first get the link, you should see something like this come up for you. Now, when you get this, this might back picture might be changed. It might be the same. I'm not sure. But basically, make sure that you see this cross here and you see St. Luke Lutheran Church. Now, right now, there's just four members in here. Again, we don't we don't have to worry about memberships right now as logging into the portal. That's all that this means. Uh, we're not using any of that right now. You're also going to see all kinds of things over here on the left around calendars and content and Bible study. Uh, please hold off on all of that. That is coming in the future. Uh, it's just here for now. And on the top, you will see sign in register, right? Again, um, please don't do anything with these yet. This will come later. Right now, we just want to focus on this give button here, okay? So as you can see here, this will be the link. We click on the link that uh, the office has sent you. You can come over here and click the give button. This is really the only button we need to focus on right now. So I click this button, and we are now on our setup page. So this is going to be for uh, either a one-time payment or a reoccurring payment. Um, in this video, we'll set up for a reoccurring payment. So wherever you want that to be monthly or whatever you'd like. So let's say I would like to give $25 per month, right? So I'm going to put in my $25. We're going to keep it as general right now. As I mentioned earlier, we can have different way, uh, different contributions that we can uh, set to. Um, we don't have that configured yet, or we don't have any contribution different groups to set up right now. So we're just going to select our general, and then we're going to click next. And then we can put in our email address here. So here's the email address I'm going to use. 
and I'm going to click next. And you'll see, and I now have the option to select one-time gift or reoccurring. I'm gonna select the reoccurring gift. And then when do I want it to come out, All right? So let's say I would like it for it to come out uh, on the 15th of every month. And as you can see, I now have every month. I can change the frequency to be every week, every two weeks, whatever I would like, right? So I can just select whatever I would like here. And then I come down here and I put in my name, my credit card number, so on and so forth. If I'd like to use my bank account, I can select bank account and do that as well. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I won't put in my credit card number here, uh, but you would just do that and select the give 25, in this case, give $25 or give button down here. What pops up then is a thank you. So you will then receive this message like this. It says thank you um, with your gift and what it's scheduled for. And you will also receive an email as well. Once you get that email, you can confirm that everything is okay and you're off and running. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to the office and they will help in any way that they can. Thank you.